Hey guys, it's Lee here for iMind Blocks. Welcome back to another video. So in this one, I'm going to help you get your Burst Coin wallets or nodes uh, back up and running. So many of you will be aware that a lot of the uh, pools, wallets, nodes um, have all gone offline, and that's causing obviously significant problems to the Burst Coin network. So essentially, what's happened is someone has been attacking the network and they've been filling the actual blockchain with loads of um, junk messages. Uh, what that means is that when the other nodes um, are trying to talk to each other, they're getting timeout issues. So uh, what's happened is a lot of the actual nodes on the network have all become uh, forked off, but not just, you know, like a main fork and a secondary fork. There's been like, it's just completely sort of um, splintered. So there's a lot of um, basically a huge mess at the moment for uh, Burstcoin. Uh, but anyway, what I wanted to do is uh, in this video show you how you can kind of um, get your wallet and node back up, resynced with the network and going to kind of um, get everyone on the same track. And that means that we can all sort of move uh, forward together and um, overcome this problem. So let's continue on and I'll show you um, what you can do to, you know, get back up and running. So on the actual screen capture, uh, we'll just open up our browser. So I'll put all the actual links in the actual video description uh, for everything that you need. And I've been doing quite a bit of reading this morning to try and um, get everything back on track. Um, we just need one other thing. So let me go to the top there, sorry. So I'm actually on the Burst Nation website, basically uh, because these guys uh, have actually got a bit of... Um, a focus, uh, excuse the pun of the actual character there, uh, but these guys have got an actual focus and an actual objective. So uh, working together with these guys, uh, we can actually get our uh, Burst Coin uh, nodes up and uh, running. So what you need to do is you're going to need, uh, presuming that you already run a Burst Coin wallet or node on your actual machine, uh, you can use these um, instructions to get resynced. So from the Burst Nation uh, website, I'll actually put a link in the actual video description. You need to download this blockchain via this link here. So download that, and there's also a peer list I'll come back to in just a second. So download the actual blockchain. Then if you go to your um, Burst Coin folder, um, I just need to actually get my um, downloads as well, sorry. Where did I put it? This one here. So this is your uh, new blockchain. And I'm just gonna move it to here and then extract it. So you'll need um, WinRAR um, to extract the actual file itself. Just wait for that to um, complete. Okay, while well, that's actually um, copying across, I'll show you the actual next step. So from your actual Burst Coin uh, folder, if you go into the conf folder, and then you've got this NXT default, and you might have the, the uh, extension dot properties or you may not, but you just wanna open and edit with notepad. If you scroll down, you'll see there is uh, this section here, and then you've got this NXT well-known peers, and then the equal sign. What you want to add is basically all this information here, and I'll put a link in the actual video description, um, and it will look like this. So you can just copy this and copy it into your NXT default peers list. So it should look like this. You might, you'll probably only have a few addresses in there, and you want to have this whole bunch of um, addresses. So copy from this into your uh, conf file. We can close that now. I've actually got it open in two windows. A lot going on this morning. Uh, the next thing you need to do as well, if you go back to your main Burst Coin folder and then you've got this run.bat, uh, right click and edit it. And you'll see, as you look down, you've got this line here. There's actually two of them. And in your case, you probably won't have this part so this part basically says um, how much uh, memory to use for the Burstcoin uh, wallet. So the first part here is use a maximum of eight gigabytes of RAM. And the second part is use a minimum of four gigabytes of RAM. So change those, either the eight and the four, 
depending on how much RAM you've got. So in this machine, um, I've got 12 gigs of RAM, so I want to use a maximum of eight and a minimum of four. That's gonna help the actual Burst Coin node uh, run without crashing effectively when it runs out of memory. And you also need to add that line. So you're just gonna add that line just like it is there, just before the hyphen CP. And you've also got the second part here, depending on where of your um, Java location is. So you just add it in again there, same as before in this other line, but just before the CP there again, and obviously just save that run and batch file. So we'll just go back now and see how our um, database is doing. So we've copied it over, we need to extract it first. So there should just be um, two files in here. So we'll just let that extract. Uh, just while that's actually extracting in this folder here this is actually where the burst coin uh, blockchain is stored you have these two files we can just remove them just delete them and i'm just going to empty it from the recycle bin because they're quite big files okay so our database files have been extracted and i believe we put them in this folder so I'm just going to copy all those, these three files, copy them. And I'm just going to put in them into this main burst underscore DB folder. So a bit of copy and pasting again. I could have just extracted them um, into that folder. Uh, if you want to do that, it will save you a little bit of time. Okay, so while this final section is going through, so just a quick recap. There's three things that you need to do. Uh, download the blockchain and delete and overwrite your... Um, your original blockchain. Uh, number two is update your um, config file with the updated list of known peers. And the third thing to do is change your uh, run.bat settings and increase the memory um, allocation uh, for your burst wallet. So do those three things. And then when you uh, run the file, your burst node should start up and um, hopefully connect to the network. Everyone will be on the same uh, blockchain and um, hopefully we can overcome this uh, issue. Okay, so now when we run the run.bat, it should start up our burst wallet and um, hopefully it should all work fine. So it started up like it normally does. Um, it should just give us, I just want to share it with you the sort of the current starting block um, because you guys will be starting off on the same, same part. Okay, so the wallet has started up. It took 43 seconds, and you can see the last block height is 384396. So if you use this blockchain file, that's gonna be your starting point from there. So from that point, just leave your Burstcoin wallet running. It might take a couple of hours to get fully synchronized and kind of back in sync with the rest of the network. Um, but I'm obviously gonna roll this video out now. Lots of people are on this same blockchain. So hopefully everyone can use this together and um, we'll all be back up and running. So that's it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next video.